Good evening. I'm Siwapiti Rose Amador LeBeau, and this is Native Voice TV. Welcome to the show. We have a really exciting show for you this evening. We have one of the finalists from The Voice Season 3, and that is Rudy Paris. Rudy um, is from the Visalia, and he is a Diné and Apache. But um, he's going to give us a great show here on the, on the set, and then we're going to follow him out to a convalescent hospital in Santa Clara, where he's going to sing and surprise the patients there. So please welcome Rudy Paris. Please. 
Can't you see? You belong to me. I'm a poor heart. Aches. Every breath you take, every move you make, every vow you break, every smile you fake. Claim you stink. I'll be watching you. Well, we're back again, and we've had a really fun day with you, Rudy. We've been following you around, and you're probably exhausted, but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. Sleep, sleep come later. <laughs> it always can. I have so much that I want to ask you now. How long have you been playing? Music, uh, since 1976. Started playing the violin in fourth grade and studying music. Been a long time. And you've always sang? No, I didn't start singing until I was about 19 or 20 years old. Really? Yeah, I heard Merle Haggard sing and I said, I gotta learn how to do that. And I just been doing it ever since. But were you already playing guitar at the time? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then you started singing later? Yeah, much later, yeah. Now, you grew up in Visalia? Yeah, between Bakersfield and Fresno. So that's like a real small, rural, rural well, kind of town? Well, it used to be real small. It's just growing yeah. more and more every day. It's not like San Jose, though? No, no, not at all. This is but, a big uh, city? <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to get there. Yeah. I definitely yeah. going to get there. Everyone's moving from L.A., San Francisco, moving down there, you know. So you were on The Voice. What was that experience like? I mean, it had to be, you know... Something that well, most about, of us would never experience. You talk about tired. <laughs> that, that's that was a lot of work. There's more to it than, than people see. Uh, realize. Yeah, I was wondering because you know you mentioned earlier that you were there for five months. Yeah, just about that's five a lot. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, maybe a few weeks. Five months. No. You were living <laughs> there. Yeah. So you lived with all the the finalists. Mm -hmm. And so you were in a group of how many? Well, it started with 200, and then it went down to 64. And then went it down to 40. Wow. But those 200, be, to get to those 200, there were many, oh, there many was thousands, thousands upon, right? Hundreds of thousands. I think 100,000 or maybe wow. more. A lot of people. Yeah. Some yeah. cities would have like 15, 20,000 people try it in just one city. Oh, my gosh. And so then they housed you there. Mm -hmm. And did they have like an agenda for you the whole day? Oh, and constantly. What we do is in things? the evenings around 10 o'clock, they would send us our itinerary for the next day. So you would be going, oh, man, I hope it's not early. Look, and go, oh, 6 a.m. And did they, they, they have you doing interviews, or what were you doing? No, there was so much to prepare for. Oh. There was stage blocking, uh, you learning how to work the stage, where to stand. There was uh, hair, makeup, wardrobe. There was a media training. There was legal uh, meetings. Wow. There was, it just went on and on and on. Never wow, it's amazing because you don't realize how much goes on behind the scenes. No, and you don't. We just see you there. Okay, they, you know, they they show those initial the interviews with the, the um, what are they called the the stars? Yeah. <laughs> you know the ones who select you for their teams. Now you were on Team Blake. Blake, yeah. Team Blake, and so they they select. You know, you see those people that they're they're actually interviewing on the show, and you're thinking that's all. You don't realize how many you know went through the process to get there, so you're, you were really unique to get selected. Oh yeah, I was very. But you very sing blessed. so beautiful. Thank you. You Thank really you. do I sing. It. And for those of you at home, we've been following Rudy around all day long, and we went with him to a, a convalescent hospital, and uh, they were they had a banquet there, and he was singing. He was jamming all kinds of songs, Elvis songs and blues and. Um, just everything, country and western. <laughs> <laughs> and they loved it. They were dancing in the wheelchairs. And do you do that kind of thing very often? Yeah, I've done it a few times. And uh, I'd like to do it more often, um, regardless of what happens in the future. I think, you know, music uh, is very healing to, to people. And especially, you know, I remember one time my brother and I, we played in a the, in the hospice where people were going to, they were like stage four cancer. and. Uh -huh. And we, we went in there and played, and we, by the time we, you know, we got to the middle of our show, they were smiling and dancing Aww. around. And it seems like maybe for that time that we were playing, um, 
they forgot that they were going to pass and that they mm -hmm. were sick. And, uh, you know, so to me, if I could bring that to somebody through music, that's uh, just a beautiful blessing to be able to do that for people. It makes me feel probably as good as it does them, you know. To, to oh, you just to see that. their faces, yeah. they, a lot of elders there. And, and then you sang to the one couple, and I guess they were late 70s or so, mm -hmm. and they're both ill, and he reached over and he grabbed her hand because you dedicated the song to them, and it was just so cute. Yeah, they were so crying, touching. Was tears I think flowing. everybody was crying. But yeah, that, that was so touching to see that. It was such a good experience. So before you went on The Voice, you also did a lot of, you had high profile gigs, yeah. right? Tell us about some of those. Well, I, I was, uh, you know, I've, I've done a lot of touring. I've, my brother and I played at the Buck Owens Crystal Palace for about 10 years, and everybody went through that place. Brad Paisley, Keith Urban, um, it's just to name a few, there's so many, Dwight Yoakam. And uh, so that really, um, you know, put us uh, out in front of people like that and we always made a good impression on everybody and you know I used to play guitar for Hank the Third and uh, I've been on a lot of tours as a sound engineer and met a lot of people that way and, uh -huh. and just playing places you know people see us they really you know we try to uh, have people walk away you know fit like they, they feel something uh -huh. you know when we play we give it our whole heart and soul and mind that. and I we just really that. you know we're, we're out to do our thing and touch people. Have you done casinos? Oh yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, all through California, oh, mainly good. Central Thank California. You. So we need to get you out to the uh, New Mexico casinos, oh, yeah. the Washington casinos. So if any of our audience out there has contacts or relatives, you know, hook them up over here. Yes, I would. I would love the tour, <laughs> all native casinos, all through the United States. And that's great because you're a great role model, great role model for our people. Thank you. Well, we're really proud of you. We're really proud of you. And it was nice to see, you know, oh, wow, one of us up there, you know, yeah. and really, because you rarely see, you know, our yeah, people I there. I heard that from a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people. So what would you say, um, I, it was probably draining the experience, but it was good. You probably learned a lot of things. Were there any negative aspects of it? Um, just getting up so early, <laughs> you know. And I remember times when we'd come up and like, man, I, I'm too, I don't even want to eat. I'm so tired. I just want to go to sleep. And, you know, like I said, some of my friends like Terry, um, you know. So you've Cassidy stayed in contact with, with some of the other contestants? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some, I'm real, real close to Terry. Like I said, we roomed together the whole time. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. he's, he's just a wonderful, wonderful human being. Now, the, the stars, um, you know, they show... They show them coaching a lot of the contestants. How much coaching did you actually get one-on-one -on -one with him, or did you get very much? Pretty much what you saw on camera. Just on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so not they like they were coming to our room and saying, hey, guys. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. What are we going to do today? So it was pretty much whenever you taped the show, they were down yeah. there mm -hmm. making their comments and so forth. But you mm -hmm. really didn't spend a lot of time with them. Nah, not really. Did they bring any um, guest celebrities to coach with, coach you? Yeah, w um, Blake brought Michael Blue Blay, so that was interesting. It was cool to meet him. He's a great artist, and uh, really enjoyed working with him. Oh, that's good. That's good. I think you know, any kind of exposure like that, especially I mean, television. You're talking about a show that you know millions of people were watching, voting, and so forth, and they heard your name on that show. So yeah, that's yeah. That's so special. I just recently went, took a trip to Nashville and went through Chicago and North Carolina and uh, everybody knew me, you know, in all the airports and, and then when I got to Nashville and walking around Nashville, everybody knew me. And so it's everywhere I go, you know, it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's an interesting kind of thing to be going through. You is know, it, is it a time. different experience where they're asking for your autograph when they see you, oh, it's Rudy from The Voice? Well, the autographs things kind of went out, as you know. It's like about all about pictures now because everybody's got a phone. <laughs> so th I take pictures with people constantly. With and, all uh, their their cell phones. Yeah, yeah. Then they put it on Facebook. Mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm. and you're on Facebook. Yeah, I'm Facebook. Yeah. So it's, we can uh, like you on Facebook. Rudy dot Paris is my Facebook. Of course, the www dot Facebook dot com forward slash Rudy dot Paris with two R's P A R R I S. So where can people get your music? 
Well, I don't have anything currently um, available as far as you know, mass quantities or even an album. I have a couple singles on on iTunes that you can get. Um, when you are in on the Voice, you have to sign to Universal Records, and part of the deal was like depending on how far you go, you get singles released on on Universal. So I have two two singles on Universal: um, "Every Breath You Take" and "Bad Day." Oh. So those are available oh, on iTunes. Beautiful. Well, you have a gorgeous voice. I just think it's so nice. And thank you. I enjoyed spending the day with you. And thank you so much for coming on Native Voice TV. I'm Rudy Paris, and you're watching Native Voice TV. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> if you guys have any requests you want to hear something, just le le let me know. And uh, we do all kinds of music. We do country and western. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and we do rock and roll. So. If, whatever you want to hear, just shout it out, and if I can play it for you, uh, we'll do it for you, okay? We're going to do some Elvis music right now. Hound dog. One, two, three, four. You ain't no little hound dog. Ground dog time. You ain't no little hound dog. Ground dog time. Way never come from the game. Ain't no friend of mine. Is everything okay? We're not too loud, right? We said you were a dying man, not just a lie.
very much. When do we eat? May God bless and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others. Let others do for you. May you climb on that big star and climb on every road. May you stay. Now, 
Let's stay together. Loving you weather, I see the weather, times are good or bad, now I'm happy or sad, I say, let's, let's stay together, loving you weather, I see the weather, Times a good or bad, happy or sad, good or bad, happy or sad, we stay together. Thank you for joining us. Follow us on Facebook, and we'll see you again next week. Good night.